driving in the clouds. <laughs> We're gonna go to Blue Ridge Parkway and that didn't work out. We are headed to Beckley, West Virginia. We got about 380 miles to go, which is a really big trip. I don't know how we're gonna do it, but we'll manage somehow. We took a detour and we got on to something called 340 and I think we're near the Blue Ridge Parkway and stuff. So we're get, I think we're getting to see some of the scenery for it. There's a Walmart. Yeah, uh we can stop there and have those beautiful views. But look at there's there's RVs there. there RVs, you want to go? Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh! Wow. That's really pretty.
out there down on, down the mountain. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, this is kind of hairpin turnish. That was kind of scary. Oh, wow. Look at this. We're in the cloud. 3.7 miles. Do not pass. Oh, next two miles. It's a... Oh, boy. Runaway truck grip. One mile. Oh my gosh, look at this! <laughs> Driving in the cloud! Oh my gosh. traffic here but hopefully it'll move. I had an awesome time seeing the views. It's funny because we had to avoid there was like this long line of traffic on on the interstate and so we avoided it and we ended up on this road with these beautiful views which is what I came here to see in the first place. So I was really glad to be able to see that and oh he's smiling now but you should have seen him earlier. It was okay. He was a little panicky because we didn't know which we, we didn't know exactly where we were going. We have the phone maps guiding us, but we can't really trust it completely because of the having an RV. So the regular GPS was taking us somewhere else, and so it was kind of crazy. And yeah, it was, so I was a little bit panicked about it. Just a little bit. But right now we're just waiting in some traffic and then hopefully we're going to get back on the interstate and get headed towards our destination. But it was so pretty in there and it was so fun and we were riding in the clouds for a little bit and the views were pretty. I hope we got some pretty views for you. made it. We're in uh, Beckley, West Virginia at a visitor center. We were here two years ago. It was <laughs> the longest drive ever, I think, because yeah. there was an accident on, on the interstate, and so we ended up taking a detour, which ended up being a good thing, because then we saw all the beautiful views from, we were near Skyline, Dr Skyline Drive, I guess, but we saw some beautiful views, which we would have missed because we weren't going to Blue Ridge. So that was nice. But yeah, that was nice. What a long, long, long day. I don't know how I did it. I think I drove for like over 10 hours. You know, it, it was the plan wasn't for that to, to be like that. Uh, we were supposed to switch, but the way what happened, it just it just ended up being that way because of the kind of day it was. Shortly before we got here, there was construction and the lanes were so narrow and that was like really tense. Yeah. And I think we got it on film so you can see it. And then there was a lot of construction. It was just, <laughs> it was quite a drive. Right. And the, there was a lot of hills. Descents. Up, it, and up. Up and down. Up and down. <laughs> and that, that was kind of challenging. But Sharon, Sharon did it. She did it. It was raining today. No, that's not it. Is that it? Oh. No, I don't think that's it. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're looking for a uh, a jet on t on uh, in the back of a truck. <laughs> I 
and there's a story behind that. Um, once we got here, we were recording. Unless he took off from <laughs> from off the truck, and that's him now. But um, once we got here, we, while we started re recording, somebody pulled up in a car and said, if "We if we had seen a jet in the back of a, a truck, because he was recording it." And I said, "No, we hadn't, because had we seen that, that would have been pretty cool to put on uh, on our on our video." But there's some guy with a jet on the back of his truck driving around here somewhere with a full size jet. The front, the the front of the, the jet. Front part the front of the part jet. of the jet. That would have been something cool to see. So I guess it's quite a appropriate end to the day, I guess. So there's our RV behind us. We had to come up here because we have the generator running. We're charging my CPAP battery. I had an issue with my CPAP battery charging it on uh, DC. The DC thing needs, I need a new cord or something. So we have to charge it on AC and that can be a bit of a challenge because we used to drive, ch charge it while we were driving. So we, it was a long day. We shouldn't have probably come here, but we yeah. had intended to come here. We didn't have another place planned out. So it just turned out that way. So hopefully we won't have another long day like that for a while. Yeah, I don't think it would have been as bad had we just come straight or, you know, just a regular journey in but and hopefully Sal can drive tomorrow we have I hopefully. think another 380 miles to go tomorrow hopefully Sal can drive yeah hopefully all right let's try to get to bed I guess I'm ready yeah, I am too <laughs>